friends, Happy Lunar New Year. 新年快乐，万事如意。Welcome to Sunday Mass with children. We are so glad that you can join us on this adventure to learn more about our faith. Thank you for sharing your amazing artworks with us week after week on Little Faith Steps. The entries from our local and international friends are colorful and encouraging. We are always inspired by your sharings and beautiful artwork. Keep them coming. This Wednesday, we are going to enter into another liturgical season. Do you know what it is? It's the season of Lent. We will learn more about it later. Let's first begin with a prayer and a song to Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, who saves us from our sins. Jesus, help us to know you more. Holy Spirit, guide us to be more like Jesus during this time of preparation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing of God's greatness and goodness. The splendor of the King. Trembles at his voice. Trembles at his voice. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? And all will see how great, how great is our God. Beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God of three in one, Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. Great is. 
is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Let's go! The others are waiting for you to play basketball. John? Hello, John? Oh, uh, hi Sebastian. I saw these old photos of my family. I was wondering about the marks on their foreheads, see? That's for Ash Wednesday. I know that, but I can't remember what it means. Hmm. Remember that you're dust, and to dust you will return. Sounds familiar? Nope. <laughs> That's when the priest put the ashes on each person's foreheads. Uh, it tells us that we are sinners and we need God's mercy and forgiveness. Ah, the ashes are the reminder to us that we need to turn back to God. Also, when your friends ask you about that dirt on your forehead, you can tell them that God loves us and wants us to return to Him. Wow, I never thought of it that way. Oh yeah. Do you know that the ashes they use are made from burnt palms? From Palm Sunday? That's right! Doesn't it sound like we are wearing palms on our foreheads? <laughs> That's such a bad joke. Oh no! We are late for basketball! Let's go! Do you remember receiving the ashes on your forehead during Ash Wednesday? Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent, a season of preparation before Easter. The ashes are made of burnt palms from the previous year. Palms are a symbol of victory and triumph, but burnt palms are a symbol of sorrow and repentance. When we receive these ashes, we are making a decision to turn away from our sin and draw closer to God. This year, the priest will bless the ashes with holy water and address those present. Repent and believe in the gospel. Or, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. We are not able to have our foreheads marked with ashes this year. Instead, the priest will sprinkle blessed ashes on the heads of each one of us. Lent is also a time when we put extra effort in prayer, fasting and almsgiving. We will learn more about each of these over the next few weeks. Let's see how much you know about Lent. How many days is Lent? 7, 40, 100. Lent is 40 days because it allows us to unite ourselves with Jesus in the desert. After Jesus was baptised, he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days and nights. When we make the decision to turn away from sin, we may feel uncomfortable and challenged because we are so used to doing the things that draw us away from God. It's like being in the desert with Jesus. What colour vestments does the priest wear during Lent? White, green, purple. the colour purple at Mass during this season. It reminds us that we are in a season of preparation, a time to make our hearts clean. What word is not said or sung during Lent? Alleluia, Amen, Lamb of God. What prayer in the Mass is taken out during Lent? Our Father, the Gloria, the Creed. Lent, 
we will not pray the Gloria nor say or sing Alleluia at Mass. This is another way the Church shows that we are sorry for our sins, which separates us from God. And we wait expectantly for Jesus our Saviour to resurrect at Easter, where we too are made new. What do we abstain from during Fridays of Lent? Meat, fish, vegetables. One way we can prepare ourselves is to abstain or not eat meat on Fridays of Lent. When we give up something we like, it helps us to honour Jesus who gave up His body for us on the cross. Let us now listen to a story of a saint who loved Jesus so much. Today is Valentine's Day. Did you know that Valentine's Day is actually Saint Valentine's Day? There are at least two saints by the same name that we celebrate today. Both of them loved Jesus so much that we celebrate their day in a special way. In one story, the Roman Emperor needed soldiers to fight wars, so he made it illegal for couples to get married. This way, he forced men to join the army. Saint Valentine helped couples to secretly get married. When the emperor found out, he put Saint Valentine in jail. The jailer asked Saint Valentine to heal his blind daughter. Saint Valentine's prayers to God were answered. He fell in love with the jailer's daughter, but they never got married because the emperor decided to kill him. Before he died, Saint Valentine wrote a letter to her, signing off with, Your Valentine. So the next time you write a Valentine's Day note to your friend, remember Saint Valentine's sacrifice of his life for others. Happy Valentine's Day! Saint Valentine stayed close to God and did everything out of love for God. He is a role model for us to follow. Let us sing this song to tell Jesus that we need Him every day. Lord, I come, I confess, now in here I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the
temptation comes my way. When I cannot stand, I fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Activity, go to our Facebook page, Little Faith Steps. Like our page and share your works in the comment section with us. We can't wait to see them. It is now time to set up your altar table and prepare for Holy Mass. Take a moment now to get these items and see you in a while. Oh, don't forget to take a photo and post it on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag Catholic Mars at Home. Let us now listen to what Auntie Estella has to share with us in one Mass Minute. Lent begins this Wednesday. If you attend Mass, you'll notice several things right away which remind us that Lent is a solemn time. You'll see Father in a colour he wore just seven weeks ago, purple. This time though, we are preparing for Jesus' death and resurrection. You'll notice we don't sing the Alleluia anymore. But the most special thing about Mass is that Father blesses ash and puts it on our heads to remind us to turn away from bad words and deeds. This special ash comes from the leaves we used for last year's Palm Sunday. During Jesus' grand entrance into Jerusalem, the Jews put palm branches under his donkey's feet to show respect. They thought he'd come to be their great king. But when they realised he was not the earthly king they wanted, they shouted for him to be crucified. These ashes remind us that although we know Jesus is our king, we sometimes turn against him too. Lent is our season of coming home to Christ. Thank you, Auntie Estella. Let us now settle down, sit in front of your altar table, take a moment to be silent and prepare for Holy Mass. Welcome, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Holy Mass with children. Thank you for joining us to sing songs of praise and learning more about Ash Wednesday and the season of Lent. There's nothing like giving God our hands and our voices to worship Him as our loving Father. Let us now worship the Lord together on the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. We offer up this Mass for the sick and suffering that they may find healing in the Lord. Join us in singing the processional hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So welcome to this Eucharist. We celebrate not only the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time, but we also celebrate a new Lunar New Year. And so my greetings and my love and my blessings go out to you and to all your families. Whenever we come to the Eucharist, we always remember God's blessings. And we remember His mercy, His forgiveness, and His plentiful redemption. And so let us give praise and thanks to God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, If a swelling or scab or shiny spot appears on a man's skin, a case of leprosy of his skin is to be suspected. The man must be taken to Aaron, the priest, or to one of the priests who are his sons. The man is leprous. He is unclean. The priest must declare him unclean. He is suffering from leprosy of the head. A man infected with leprosy must wear his clothing torn and his hair disordered. He must shield his upper lip and cry, Unclean! Unclean! As long as the disease lasts, he must be unclean. And therefore, he must live apart. He must live outside the camp. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my refuge, O Lord. You fill me with the joy of salvation. You are my refuge, O Lord. You fill me with the joy of salvation. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Whatever you eat, whatever you drink, whatever you do at all, do it for the glory of God. Never do anything offensive to anyone, to Jews or Greeks or to the Church of God. Just as I try to be helpful to everyone at all times, not anxious for my own advantage, but for the advantage of everybody else, so that they may be saved. Take me for your model as I take Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, that 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and pleaded on his knees. If you want to, he said, you can cure me. Feeling sorry for him, Jesus stretched out his hands and touched him. Of course I want to, he said. Be cured. And the leprosy left him at once and he was cured. Jesus immediately sent him away and sternly ordered him, Mind you say nothing to anyone, but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offering for your healing prescribed by Moses as evidence of your recovery. The man went away, but then started talking about it freely and telling the story everywhere so that Jesus could no longer go openly into any town but had to stay outside in places where nobody lived. Even so, people from all around would come to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today is the last day of a long holiday, right? And what holiday have we just celebrated? It's Chinese New Year, of course. And what is the one of the most important traditions in Chinese New Year? It's the reunion dinner. That's when all of your family comes together. And of course, on Chinese New Year Day, you would go out to visit your grandparents and your aunties and uncles and catch up with your cousins once again. And this year, of course, we can't see as many people as we normally do. That's a pity, yeah? But Chinese New Year is a time to spend time together as a family because family is really important. Now, when you had your reunion dinner a few days ago, would you, would you purposely leave out one of your family members? Would you, would you say to your, your brother or your sister, you're not invited, you can't come? Or will you tell your grandmother, you're not allowed to sit at the table, you go and sit at another table at the side there. No, we'd, we'd never do that, you know. Everybody in the family is invited to the reunion dinner. Now, family and community are also really important to the Jewish people. But in Jesus' time, there were some people who were not invited to be part of the group. They were, they were excluded from the group. Lepers were one such group of people. Now, do you know what leprosy is? Leprosy is a, is a disease, it's a skin disease. It's a terrible disease and after a while, the person who has leprosy will start to look quite disfigured. Now, the ancient people a long, long time ago, they didn't understand the cause of sickness. They thought that if a person had a, had a disease, then they were being punished by God because they were bad people or because they had done something wrong. And so they were considered unclean. And if you come into contact with a person who is a leper, then you would be unclean too. So lepers had to avoid contact with anybody. They would walk around ringing a bell, this big bell, and they would shout, unclean, unclean, so that people would move away. Can you imagine what it was like to be a leper, to have leprosy at the time of Jesus? It must have been terrible existence. These people had no friends, they had no family. Everybody would have to keep far away from them. And, and most people judged them. They thought they were very bad people who had done bad things and that's why God was punishing them. But, Along comes Jesus. 
And this leper comes to Jesus and he falls down on his knees in front of Jesus and he says, if you want to, you can cure me. And what do you think Jesus will do? What does the gospel tell us? Jesus felt sorry for him and said, of course I want to be cured. Jesus felt sorry for him. And have you ever felt like that before? Well, I know I have. When, when Jesus met this man, he felt something in his heart really went out to him. He felt sorry for this man, not just because he was sick. Jesus felt terrible because this man had no home and no family or friends, because he had to live on the streets. Jesus felt terrible because he had to ring a bell everywhere he went to tell people to get away from him. See, the man was not just coming to Jesus and asking Jesus to cure him of his sickness. This leper was really saying to Jesus, Will you be my friend? I have no friends. Will you be my friend? Or will you run away from me just like everybody else? Now, can you think of times when you felt like that too? Maybe you've, your heart has gone out to people who are suffering. Maybe you've seen poor people sleeping and begging on the street who have no food to eat. Maybe you've seen the people with a physical disability and nobody really cares about them. Maybe you've, your classmates have failed their exams and they're really sad and everybody just says to them, you're stupid. Maybe there are people in our society whom we don't want to make friends with them and we exclude them because they're different from us or they come from another place. And sometimes when I see people like that, I, I feel sorry for them just like Jesus did. And I feel like, like stretching out my hand to them just like Jesus did. Jesus' mission is to make sure that everybody is invited to the reunion dinner that everybody can sit at the table. And that's our mission too, right? And we can start uh, with those who are just around us. We can start with those who are close to us. Can you reach out to your classmates who, who may not have a lot of friends, who are struggling with school? And maybe our church, our parish needs to reach out to people who are forgotten here in Singapore. In the second reading, St. Paul reminded us that Jesus is our model. He's the example that we must follow. And so when people come up to us and they ask us, if you want to, you can be my friend. And what did Jesus say to them? Jesus said, of course I want to. But what about you? What will you say? So we profess and we renew our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord Jesus, who healed the leper, is ready to bring his grace to all those in need. Through him, therefore, we now confidently pray to the Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop William, all priests and clergy, that by word and deed, they draw people closer to Christ and empower them to live the gospel each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, that they ensure the dignity and right to life and health of people who are sick, vulnerable or marginalised, is protected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, that those in the healing ministries remain inspired by the healing ministry of Jesus and that they affirm the dignity of the sick and all whose lives are afflicted or marginalised. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For couples preparing for marriage, that their love will be gentle, kind and respectful, bringing each other to a fullness of life, and that in their preparation for marriage, they will be guided by people who are wise, generous and loving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For married couples and all who have committed themselves to each other in love, that the self-giving, self-emptying love of Christ will be the inspiration and basis of their love for each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold silently in our hearts and those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you provide for all our needs and are attentive to our prayers. As you bless us, may we proclaim your goodness to all our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, 
and by his suffering cancelled out our sins by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, Bishop William, and with all the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Pray now together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So we all desire to partake of Holy Communion in the physical form, but for many of us who can't, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts. So Lord Jesus Christ, we desire so much to partake of your body and blood in the Eucharist. Even though we can't do that physically, we ask you to come into our hearts and be present with us. We invite all those watching to make an act of spiritual communion with a spirit of gratefulness, thanking God for His infinite love and sacrifice. With humble and contrite hearts, let us express our desire to invite Jesus into our souls. My Jesus, I believe that You are present in the most holy sacrament. I love You above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thank you for joining us at this Eucharist. And once again, my blessings to you and to all of your families as we celebrate the Lunar New Year. We're also going to begin the season of Lent soon. And we really ask the Lord to come into our lives in this very, very special way. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you.